This is a very easy bruschetta, which you can put together the night before, then toast and serve just before you're ready to eat it. It makes a super hors d'oeuvre for parties and a great appetizer when serving cocktails to family and friends. For those of us who are not particularly fond of tomatoes, this roasted red pepper bruschetta is a perfect alternative to the tomato version. And it's so yummy good and easy, you'll make it just for yourself. Okay, here we go. Roast your red pepper by placing it on the open flame of your range. Using your tongs, keep turning the pepper until it's blistered and blackened like this. Then, place it into a plastic bag and seal the top. You just have to kind of turn the top. After about five minutes or so, the peel can easily be pulled off the pepper. It may be hot, so take care not to burn yourself, okay? Then chop the pepper and place it into a bowl along with four to five cloves of minced garlic and three tablespoons of olive oil. Now add one tablespoon of dried basil, one teaspoon of dried parsley, a half a cup of mozzarella cheese, and one teaspoon of a good balsamic vinegar. Now I've put mine into a pretty small bowl which is making it difficult to stir so you might want to mix it in a larger bowl then transfer the mix to a smaller bowl which you can cover with plastic wrap or a lid and place into the refrigerator. This mixture can be made the day ahead or right before you want to use it. Place a mound of the pepper mixture on a slice of uh, French baguette or like what I've done here, just mound it up on a piece of sourdough bread and pop it into a toaster oven. You can also place it into a hot oven or even under the broiler. Cook until the cheese is melty. If melty is even a word, I'm not sure, but you know what I mean. If using a large piece of bread like I am here, cut it into small pieces that are easy to handle. But here's a little secret. Just before serving, dot with a good balsamic glaze, not the vinegar. A balsamic glaze. Just a few drizzles over the top will send your bruschetta over the edge on flavor. It is so good. Well, there you have it, easy bruschetta. For other easy food ideas, please subscribe below to In the Kitchen. Thanks and have a wonderful day. Bye now.